Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars video. So, yesterday the gameplay trailer for Star Wars Squadrons dropped at the virtual EA Play. Now, I did do a breakdown of that on this channel, which you can find in the description, but I'd like to talk about it a little bit more. And one thing I'm sure many of you guys have noticed is the prominence of the MC-75 Mon Calamari Cruiser, a ship which first appeared in Star Wars Rogue One, but which has somewhat been silent after its first appearance. So today we'll be talking about the MC-75s within the Rebel fleet after the Battle of Scarif, what happened to them, which ones still exist, and basically everything we know about the class's history. Before we get into things though, I will say if you want more Squadrons content, I've got a video up on the second channel today. It's very short, but it details all of the evidence, suggesting that there might actually be more than four playable starfighters in the upcoming game so i'll link to that down in the description and also in the upper right hand corner anyway let's get on with the content so like most mon calamari vessels in star wars canon the mc-75 was formerly a city ship within the oceans of mon cala which was repurposed for war in light of the empire's tyranny as of this point the most famous mc-75 and the first one we saw on screen was the profundity which was Rannis's ship during the Battle of Scarif. The Profundity sadly was destroyed by Darth Vader, but not before facilitating the escape of the Death Star planes. Although the Profundity was destroyed, we know that other MC-75s participated in the Galactic Civil War, although up to now, real concrete detail has been fairly sparse, mostly in the form of pictures without a whole lot of context. We got, for example, the what I would call quasi-canon Profundity expansion pack for Star Wars Armada, which, as that game usually does, suggested that there could be different tactical loadouts for the Profundity, including an armored and an ordnance version. The Rebellion in the Rim expansion also features some really nice art, actually, of the MC-75 on the box, though even with just that, it's pretty safe to assume that the class had other ships besides just the Profundity and that they were active during the Galactic Civil War. We know from the Rogue One visual guide that one of the existing MC-75s was also called the Aspiration, which escaped Mon Calamari and joined the Rebel Alliance, although the fate of that ship is unknown. However, with the release of Star Wars Squadrons, we now have new information about the MC-75 class coming as of now only on the Star Wars databank. So here's what we get about the Temperance, which is presumably the ship which appears in the trailer. The Temperance is an MC-75 cruiser built on Mon Cala. Alongside its sister ship Accordance, the Temperance defended the borders of the Hosnian system during the Battle of Endor, repulsing an Imperial Armada that was attempting a surprise attack against the Core Worlds. The Accordance was lost in the battle, but the Temperance took on the survivors and carried the day. It currently serves as Vanguard Squadron's flagship, with Vanguard Squadron being the New Republic squad that you'll play as in Star Wars Squadrons. So basically, two MC-75s, the Temperance and the Accordance, protected the Hosnian system during the Galactic Civil War and specifically the Battle of Endor. I actually find this a little weird, because I wouldn't expect the Rebel to physically be holding territory they would need to protect at this point, especially not in the core worlds like the Hosnian system. That's basically just asking to get absolutely overrun by the Empire. But apparently the Rebel Alliance had a presence there and these two ships fought some sort of battle against an Imperial fleet. And that's it. We'll learn the fate of the Temperance presumably by the end of the Star Wars Squadrons campaign. But we actually do know that MC-75s, at least in some respect, were used by the New Republic or at least least by systems in that era, because at the Battle of Exegol, we see a ton of not only MC-75s, but MC-75 variants, the basic ship with slightly different adjustments or configurations. I've done a whole video if you're interested in all the weird sort of Mon Calamari variants that are actually at the Battle of Exegol, but if you pay attention, the MC-75 is a very, very prominent. But that's all I have for today, guys. I know this is a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the Star Wars Squadrons tie-in video and if you want more direct commentary on the game, just a reminder, we do have that interesting video over on my second channel, X2. Anyway, until next time, guys, have a good one. This has been your host, Eckhart Slatter. As always, may the Force be with you.